morning everyone it's Naomi Kanaika from gospelthroughouts.com it's a beautiful um, Tuesday morning I'm excited to speak about the Word of God with you today um, I'm up early morning and I want to read the Word of God to you from Hosea chapter 14 O Israel return to Lord your God for you have stumbled because of your iniquity Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, Take away all iniquity. Receive us graciously, for we will offer the sacrifice of our lips. Assyria shall not save us. We will not ride on horses, nor will we say any more to the work of our hands. You are our gods, for you, your the fatherless, finds mercy. I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely, for my anger has turned away from him. I will be like the dew to Israel. He shall grow like the lily and lengthen his roots like Lebanon. His branches shall spread. His beauty shall be like an olive tree and his fragrance like Lebanon. Those who dwell under the shadow shall return. They shall be revived like grain and grow like a wine. Their scent shall be like the wine of Lebanon. A prime shall say, What have I to do any more with idols? I have heard and observed him. I am like a garden, green, cypress tree. Your foot is found in me. Who is wise? Let him understand these things. Who is prudent? Let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right. The righteous walk in them, but transgressors stumble in them. The word of the Lord is so faithful, my brothers and sisters. He has a blessing for you and me when we walk before Him righteously, when we walk with Him and obey His commandments. His commandments are not heavy burdens on us, but they are light, they are easy. They are natural laws that He has given us to follow. Above all, let us love Him with all our hearts, with all our mind, with all our soul, with all our being, and love our neighbor as ourselves. And God says, if you do these two commandments, you have completed the law. You are, you are right before Him. Today, God promises to restore us. God promises us to have goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our life. He promises us to be the dew upon our life. When I get up early morning, I see the dew fallen on the, the trees, the branches, the bushes. It is, a, a, the fresh air is so breathtaking, it smells so good, and the dew is refreshing to the plants and the greenery. And our God says that His presence uh, is like the dew that falls upon us. And He says that he will heal the backsliding and he will love them freely god has loved us freely and he gave his only son jesus to die on the cross for you and me freely he gave freely he gave us everything he is so faithful my brother and sister don't you have to uh, uh, something to be thankful today for god and say the goodness of god and don't you have a way to say, God, all my life you've been faithful. All my life you have been good. All my life you have looked after me. From the time I was born up to now, he has been good to me. He has been faithful to me. It doesn't mean I didn't have to face struggles. It doesn't mean that my life was smooth. But through the struggles, I could feel the presence of God like the dew that fell on me. He has never left me nor forsaken me. So today I want to tell you, day after Christmas Day, 
music. I want to sing about his goodness. I want to get my lips to praise him. My hands to be raised up to him. My eyes to see the glory of him in the nature, in everything I do. Our God is faithful, my brothers and sisters. Have you experienced his goodness in your life? Let's sing this beautiful song. It's called The Goodness of God. Love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. All my days have been held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness. Of God, all my life you have been faithful. All my life, all my life you have been so, so good. With every path that I am made, oh, I will say of the goodness of God. I love your voice. You have led me to the fire. Darkest night. You are close like no other. I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend. Oh, I have lived in the goodness of God. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am Of the goodness of God. Your goodness is running up, it's running up to me. Your goodness is running up, it's running up to me. With my life laid down, I surrendered now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running out, running out. My brothers and sisters, hasn't you feel his goodness running after you? Goodness and mercy runs after us daily. Hasn't he been good to us? Freely he has given everything to us. His only son, Jesus, to us that you and I will have salvation, eternity spent with him. My brother and sister, even though life is really hard here on earth, we know that what counts is that eternity that you and I will spend with our Lord Jesus Christ. So let's run with perseverance, the race that is marked for us. Let us not give up in our faith. It does not give up in our trust. It does not give up in our hope. It does not give up in our good doings, good things that we do. Because His goodness is always there for us. Yesterday, my brothers and sisters, we are in Mexico, uh, Puerto Vallarta. So we've been in the resort for almost now four, I think five days, four days. Um, so yesterday, me and my husband, we went to the pharmacy to get some mos mosquito spray because in the evenings there are some mosquitoes, tiny mosquitoes that come and bite, especially my son Daniel, his blood is tasty. 
so we want to get the spray on him to put on his um, to mosquito bites and also to another spray to avoid the mosquitoes coming to him and the children and us so while we were going to the, the uh, pharmacy there here and we saw a big um, bus like open um, open roof bus two buses were there and they are taking tours and the man uh, near the bus place he said uh, you can go uh, a day trip it's like six hours of trip 10 a.m. till I think afternoon and they stop in five or six spots and uh, and they told us the price um, in Mexican pesos so here if you say in Mexican pesos and if we ask oh, how much is in US dollars they suddenly increase the price because they think oh they have money they're from like they have US dollars with them so when we asked the US price they in, they said 20 US per person but it felt reasonable like for six hours bus travel for six stops or five stops for six of us so it's like 120 US dollars so it's, it still felt okay for us so we gave our name and we said six people are coming I'm not sure if my mother-in-law is coming but I just uh, put six for now and I said okay we'll, we cannot go today because we haven't told um, my mother-in-law was in the room so we haven't told her we can't just disappear on her so we told that maybe tomorrow for sure we'll come at 10 o'clock and um, so we gave our name and we said six people and we just crossed the road to the pharmacy and then there was this travel agent across the road and he came running and said did you book any tours with us i said oh i just booked with them for tomorrow uh, six of us and he asked how much are you going to how much did you pay i said i haven't paid yet but he charged he said he's going to charge 20 dollars per person and then he said oh no it's too expensive i can give you for 13 dollars per person <laughs> so i told my husband oh I don't know I said is it the same bus is it the same places they're going he said yes and we are registered people um, um, they are they are just people who are just picking up people in the bus stop but we are registered it's safer and all these things so I told my husband oh quickly cross the road and tell the other person that we promise we're coming tomorrow that we got a better price not 20 US we got for 13 US so my husband poor husband had to cross the road and tell them I'm so sorry we are not going with you guys um, we got a better deal on the other side so $13 so here people uh, are very cunning and people will take advantage as long as you they hear that you're paying in the US so you have to be really smart and sometimes you never know right so you just have to go with the flow so we are so thankful that we got it cheaper so I, I booked six of us I had to pay there and I got a receipt for six of us um, I paid 81 US dollars so it's a day trip today planned so we will be going around 10 o'clock and coming in the afternoon it'll be nice to see the city of Porto Valadra and stop in separate uh, destinations they said one destination is um, Porto Valadra city downtown the second one is the um, Porto Valadra um, um, church there's a big tall church and the third one is Porto Valadra um, that's a waterfall and then I think the next one is the tequila factory and the next one is the um, shopping like a um, flea market kind of a thing so anyway all the best for us as we go in our known city but God is going before us always faithful my brothers and sisters many times like this he has saved us he has protected us he's always been with us so as we adventure this city for Trawala train Mexico today with my whole family my whole gang my six people <laughs> I hope pray and hope that all will go well because our God is with us so it's beautiful morning I'm still early uh, around seven something in the morning now when I when I go to the room hopefully my children will get up and then we can dress up and go for breakfast and get ready to go on our tour day 
I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank God for God's blessings in your life. No matter what you're facing, remind yourself, goodness of God follows you all the days of your life. You will dwell in the house of the Lord forevermore. Rejoice for the eternity that you and I have with Him in heaven. He is with us. He is Emmanuel, God with us. Holy Spirit who is living inside of us, dwelling in us. May we be the lights that shine in darkness everywhere we go. I love the coconut trees here. Um, I will really miss them when I go back to Canada, the coconut trees. <laughs> I put a small bulb in a, in a pot inside the home and before I came it was shooting up and uh, it's the small kind of joy when you live in a winter country uh, to see a plant growing inside your home. But here in a tropical country it's so nice to see some coconut um, coconut trees around us. Yesterday they gave us coconut water but the coconut water that we are used to in Sri Lanka is just plain coconut water. They have mixed it with white um, coconut scraps so it doesn't the taste the same diff same taste but uh, it's lovely to eat some pepper and some tropical fruits here in Mexico. Hope you have a wonderful day my brothers and sisters. Hope you have a warm Hope you have a presence of God in your home. And as you relax after the Christmas break, today's Boxing Day, some, some of you might go shopping today. Some of you might rest and recharge. Whatever you do, be blessed. Remind yourself that Emmanuel has done great things for you and me. He is worthy of our praise. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye. I will let you know the adventure tomorrow about how our tour went today. God bless you.